So there's a few reports uh, coming out of this one today. The umpire trying to separate a couple of them down there. And what do they do now? Marks is just standing back here with the ball. He's got to have his kick up for it. Uh, just watching Marks back here, creeping right across the field to get a better angle on the goal. But his opponent, Dwyer, is going across with him. Well, I don't know what I'm fired. There's another slap on the end of the deck. Uh, so Kavanagh of Port Melbourne, up towards the half-forward line, racing across there is uh, Brian. And Brian takes the mark on the half-back line, plays it to the wing on the outer side of the ground, and McCann is the player to move in and take it from the outer side. McCann now with a good crowd in the background towards the half-forward line. Carla Van is out there, number 13, racing it after the ball with Wilkinson behind him, but it's gone uh, pretty close to the boundary. It hasn't gone over. Ray Shaw looks as though he's the player under the pack. Umpire for going to blowing the whistle, and out of it comes Shaw with the free kick right under the pack there and uh, in a bit of trouble but he passes up towards that half forward line and McCann is the player who rolled into that mark on the left half forward he has a lead across and full forward looking for Hallis Hallis gets his hands to it and here he comes around the boundary Hallis lines them up from a very acute angle and the goal umpire indicating that it uh, could be a behind but the umpire going down and he's saying it will be another kick Rex Hunt Yes, he definitely interfered with after he disposed of the ball uh, there, Phil, and uh, Frank Vergana right on the spot in a good decision. So he may have had his number taken. So there's a few reports uh, coming out of this one today. The umpire trying to separate a couple of them down there. And what do they do now? Marks is just standing back here with the ball. He's got to have his kick up for it. 